New South Wales, Australia. On Sydney's famed harbour, beyond the towering buildings and the bridge, stood another iron giant, the historic Hammerhead Crane. Located at the Garden Island Naval Base, it took seven years to build and was the largest crane in the Southern Hemisphere at the time of its completion in 1951. It retained this record for more than 60 years, proudly standing as a testament of the sheer size and power needed to lift warship engines, boilers, turrets and guns of up to 250 tonne. One of only a few similar structures still remaining around the globe, the Hammerhead Crane was last used in 1996. And time was not kind to this hulking beast. Its condition rapidly deteriorating, the crane presented a significant risk to the safety of defence personnel in its vicinity. Compounding this problem, the crane also presented serious limitations on ship berthing options at the base. In order to free up berthing capacity for new ships due to enter service, the only viable solution is to dismantle this mammoth structure. And the team entrusted to do it? Liberty Industrial. Due to its status as a prominent landmark, the crane's removal attracted much attention and publicity brought about by public sentiment. The giant crane at Garden Island, that could soon vanish unless supporters can pull off a miracle. An iconic structure seen from many vantage points in and around Sydney Harbour, its removal will change the skyline forever. In order to bring down the Hammerhead Crane, Liberty Industrial confronted a set of unique challenges. As a relic of Australia's naval past, the crane's historical nature obligated the salvaging of heritage components, a requirement placed by the Department of Sustainability, Environment, Water, Population and Communities. Additionally, the crew faced the constraints of a live site, restricted work area and, at times, difficult weather conditions. Add to this the sheer size and weight of the 61 metre tall structure with its 83 metre long asymmetric horizontal steel truss boom and it becomes clear this operation required the highest level of careful planning and execution. To meet this challenge, Liberty Industrial engineered an efficient alternative design solution, dismantling the crane in much larger sections than the original design provided for, therefore reducing the number of lifts required from 250 to just 70. This greatly reduced the exposure of Liberty's personnel to working at heights, minimising health and safety risks. To dismantle this monumental crane, Liberty Industrial used two Favell Favco tower cranes, an M120RX for access and an M2480D for heavy lifting. The project team engineered a solution to freestand the M120RX, constructing a steel support structure off the wharf and erecting the bottom third of the tower with a 55-tonne mobile crane then completing the assembly with a 300-ton mobile crane. Working from inside a man box off the M120RX, the team carried out spray painting and paint stripping to prepare the crane for disassembly, systematically encapsulating the crane's existing coating with a high-build, flexible and waterborne acrylic paint to stabilise the structure's surface to prevent the release of lead chromate paint. The separation locations were carefully marked and the paint removed to prepare the surface for oxy-cutting preventing the release of harmful vapours and protecting the environment, along with the health of the workers. The structure was progressively dismantled in large sections, in a highly choreographed sequence engineered to maintain the structural stability of the crane. The components were separated from the crane's main structure once the crew rigged each of them to the M2480D, which was then used to safely hoist parts to the ground. Given how limited the team was for workspace at ground level, the M2480D's small footprint and lift capacity were crucial. Dismantling such large heavy sections required a crane capable of heavy lifts, which is why the M2480D was chosen and deployed. Some of the sections lifted out of the structure, as in the case of the jib tip, weighed up to a massive 65 tonne. One of the many initiatives taken by Liberty Industrial to ensure the efficient success of the operation was to process scrap materials on site, which meant being less restricted by the huge load sizes. Once at the designated materials processing area, a separate team further downsized the components to ready them for transportation off-site, working with a 33-ton Volvo hydraulic excavator with a shear attachment and oxy cutters to assist in the downscaling and processing of scrap materials. The processed components were then transported to an off-site recycling facility. Upon completion, approximately 1,850 ton of steel was recycled. Adding to the difficulty of the endeavour, large parts of the crane must be salvaged and stored in their original condition, in line with the requirements imposed by the federal government. Other parts, including the crane's main hook assembly, 
hook platform, trolley and driver's cap will be sent off site for decontamination and refinishing. It was imperative these items were not damaged or structurally altered. To ensure the preservation of these valuable heritage components, Liberty Industrial developed a detailed methodology for the removal, relocation, refinishing and storage, even fabricating a specialised frame for the crane's enormous 26-tonne hook assembly, thus enabling it to hang in its original position. After nine months of carefully planned and executed work, Liberty Industrial has successfully moved the Hammerhead Crane out of Garden Island and into the history books. The safety risk it presented to the Royal Australian Navy personnel has been eliminated, allowing the Department of Defence to use Garden Island to its best possible advantage, adding much needed extra wharf space for the Australian Navy and saving taxpayers over $700,000 a year in maintenance costs. Significant heritage components of the crane have been preserved and memorialised for the benefit of future generations. And with the salvage of some of Australia's richest and rarest industrial and maritime heritage, the legacy of the historic Garden Island Hammerhead Crane lives on, thanks to the expert dismantling and salvage capabilities of Liberty Industrial.